Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. The Pike County Fiscal Court took action at Tuesday's meeting to declare the county will now be a Second Amendment sanctuary. Hundreds of people packed into the fiscal courtroom to hear the reading of the resolution, which states that the county will officially oppose any gun laws which may run contrary to the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The Pike County Fiscal Court hereby declares its intent to oppose any infringement on the right of law-abiding citizens to keep bare arms. We the people of Pike County, Kentucky, in this resolution hereby declare our rights, our freedom, and our liberty as guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States of America. Witness our hand. This is 7th day of January 2020, and the resolution is adopted. The resolution received universal support at the meeting from officials and those in the audience. The way the Constitution is right now, why are we going to water down the Second Amendment? What's next? Are we going to water down the freedom of religion? Are we like to go to church every third Sunday, the second month of the year? I mean, and then you water down freedom of press, freedom of speech. We can't start watering down amendments because I know I, I have buddies that give their life for this and for what's going on here. I don't see how any of us can, can stand down and stand by and watch it be taken. Uh, too many people are giving their lives, too many people still today are being employed um, for the very same reason. Uh, we all dance around the we all dance around the the true purpose of the Second Amendment. It's not for hunting deer, and it's really not for protecting your house from a wildcat. It's from protecting yourself against those people who want to pass these top laws. It is a symbolic uh, resolution. Uh, that says that you know we're going to oppose any efforts to to undermine the rights of these folks here. You know when you see people running for president, and the, the first thing they say is we're going to take your guns away. Well, these people here tonight are law-abiding citizens, and you know they came out. This was a you know a huge crowd. It was a peaceful uh, assembly, and people are concerned over this, and they have a right to be. Uh, when you see a complete shift in Virginia's government to the point where law-abiding citizens are at risk of being felons overnight simply because of uh, a change in the law, uh, gun confiscation, gun bans, gun registration. To me, those are uh, clear uh, violations of an individual Second Amendment rights. And this court, uh, and uh, as you can see, a lot of people in this county don't support that. I know how the state of Virginia is having the big problem that they've got right now, trying to take your guns. You know, I grew up young with guns, and I, I have quite a few guns. I believe in the hunting and the sporting part of it. And I still say the biggest danger with the guns is the criminals that's got the guns. It's, it's, it's not the guns' fault. It's the criminals' fault, you know. The members of Pike County's legislative delegation also joined in the meeting via a live video link from Frankfurt. And we hear you loud and clear. And um, as far as that red flag law goes, on the same night as Pike County, the McGoffin County Fiscal Court also adopted a Second Amendment sanctuary resolution. Well, I, I think uh, through the, the, the uh, representation that Eastern Kentucky and I think uh, most of the Commonwealth, uh, with all the rural counties, pretty much. Uh, with support for this the passing, and I think right now there's uh, about 33 that's already passed it, uh, that this will have a, a, a heavy influence on, on whether or not they pass uh, any type of legislation regarding uh, gun controls or anything that might infringe on our second member right. Next up in eastern Kentucky, Floyd County is expected to consider its own Second Amendment sanctuary resolution.